For the following exercises, determine how the graph of the function is a transformation of a graph of the original function f. Okie dokie. All right, so I'm just going to put up top here that the original function was basically just f of x, right? So the original function was y equals f of x. And in these four examples, it looks like we have a transformation, right? In this case, it's x minus 49, x plus 43, plus 3, and then minus 4. So we just have to explain what happened. Okay, so I have a little graph here for you just in case I want to draw a graph just to visualize it for you guys what's happening. But basically what this is going to come down to is you need to know your vertical shifts and your horizontal shifts of a graph. Just know that your vertical shifts are always outside of the function, and that's represented by this k letter. k is just any constant number, just a number in general. Horizontal shifts are always numbers that are added inside the function. You see how it's x minus h and then inside the parentheses? So that's how you could tell the difference. Horizontal shifts are always inside the function. Vertical shifts are always outside. Another way of knowing this, and this is the easier way, tricks and trips on the bottom left-hand side, you can just memorize these. So if you have a x minus a number, you're always shifting to the right. If you have x plus a number, you're shifting to the left. And then if you have um, your function plus a number, shifting up and then minus a number shifting down. So let's give it a shot. For this one, it looks like we had f of x, but uh-oh, now it's minus 49, right? What kind of shift did this? is this? Is this inside the function or is this outside? This is inside because I have this minus 49 inside the brackets. An inside shift is one of these. It's a horizontal shift. Now we just have to figure out which way did I go? Did I go to the, to the right or did I go to the left? The, um, the uh, positive or the negative inside will tell you this was a negative. And an f of x minus a number is always a shift to the right. So what happened here was you shifted to the right how many units? 49. That's a crazy shift. So 49 units over. So let's just say that this, if I can just draw, wee, if this was my original graph, right, y equals f of x, what happened was your new graph shifted to the right 49 units so i went to the right oh that's the left <laughs> christina you gotta know your left from your right you went to the right this way 49 units over and your new graph would have the same slope you see how the lines look exactly the same but it's just shifted to the right 49 times so that's basically what happened here let's try the next one well, it looks like it's an inside shift, right? Because the plus 43, the number that you're shifting, is inside the parentheses of where your f of x was. So this has to be a horizontal shift. But are we shifting um, to the left or to the right? Well, it's a plus sign. And for x plus a number, you are shifting to the left by that number. So... We shift to the left, how many units? 43 units, crazy. So just to reiterate, let's do a, another graph. Let's say that my graph was like over here, right? All you had to do was go to the left 43 units and draw the same graph. It has the same slope. They should look identical, slope, right? If I took this and put this on top of this one, you see how they have the same slope? But the only thing is that it got shifted over 43 units. And that's it. Let's go to the next one. Okay, 
we have a plus three and it's inside. So again, this is a horizontal shift. Plus means shift to the left. So how many units did we shift over? Three units, that's right. So we shift to the left three units. So let's try. Let's let's do a graph like this now. Ooh, there you go. So it's going to be the same shape, but now we just shifted to the left three times. So um, if I actually drew this out correctly, let's just say that this is one dot here. So that means that it has to go to the left three, you know, three times it hits the the cross over here. So one, two, three. So your new graph would have this point. And if we say that this is a graph, if we say that this is a point here, one, two, three, it would come up like this. And then maybe let's do, that looks good. Um, yeah, so something like this. Ooh. We shifted to the left three units. And there you go. Last one. It looks like another horizontal shift. I have a minus four inside. So horizontal. But which direction am I going? Left or right? Definitely to the right this time, right? Because it's a minus four. So we shift to the right four units. So let's just say that this was my graph, kind of crazy graph. But all you got to do is just shift over to the right four times. So let's see. We started off here. One, two, three, four. And then let's see. One, two, three, four. So something like this. Whee! There you go. And you shift it over to the right four units. That's it. What do you think, guys? This was fun. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun. I'll see you all in the next question for more transformation videos. Um, if you want, subscribe. It will help us out a lot. And thank you so much for that. And I'll see you on the next, next lesson. All right, bye-bye.